Good morning. Oh, goodness. Say that again. Good morning. I haven't heard a sound like that in quite a while. I know what you're doing. A lot of second service people here trying to escape the, the hotter of the two services. It's great to see you. No matter when we gather, it's always good to, to see you. And I'm always so pleased that the Holy Spirit led you to worship. 8 o'clock, 1045, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. It doesn't make any difference. It's going to be hot in all of them. But you know what? Like I say, where Satan's going to be headed, it's going to be a lot hotter than where we're headed. So this is just a small price I guess we have to pay on Sunday morning to gather together to offer our, our prayers, offer our worship and our thanksgiving for all the blessings in our lives. One blessing I'm looking forward to uh, really uh, asking for is a blessing of air conditioning. But that's another day. At any rate, it's good to see you this morning. And as always, every time we gather for worship, we hear the Word of God. We read the Word of God. We hear and we read about God's great love for each of us through His Son and through our Savior, Jesus Christ. And in addition to hearing and reading about the love of God, I pray that while you're with us this morning that you experience that same love of God. And there's no better way to experience that than in His people. So if you are able, take a moment now, stand up, greet those around you in that love of God. We're in training to trust in God. We're in training to trust in His plans. And He's training us as well to trust in His grace and His mercy, which are new to us every single morning. And my prayer for all of you today is that when things are looking bleak, as they frequently do, that you would continue to find faith in our God who loved us so much that He sent His only Son to die for us. I pray that when the world around us has lost faith and hope, that we would never waver from trusting and believing in our God who created all of us and in the Son who redeemed all of us and in the Holy Spirit who held, who led us to a life of faith and keeps us and holds us there. Most of all today, I pray that your faith in God would be a faith that continues to grow day after day, that in His promises found in His Word, we would all come to the same conclusion that the only faith that secures a life that is imperishable is a life that is found in faith toward Jesus Christ. Amen.